Search for Dr. Panda. Oh. Yay! <laughs> job, everyone. The house is sparkling clean. We are all ready for Chinese New Year. Oh, let's surprise Hoopa and Alette and hang these decorations up before they get here. Uh, Dr. P, why are all the Chinese New Year's decorations red? Red. Oh, great question, Bip. Let me tell you the story of Chinese New Year. Yeah! It all began a long, long time ago in a village far, far away. Near the village, high in the mountains, there lived a creature called the Nyan. The Nyan would sleep for the whole year. And every year, he would wake up at the same time when there was a new moon. He was always very hungry when he woke up because he had slept for so long. The Nyan would be so hungry that he would jump into the village and eat all their food. <laughs> <laughs> the villagers weren't happy that the Nyan was eating up all their food. This happened year after year. The villagers had gathered to discuss the problem of the Nyan, but they didn't know what to do. Then one day, a very smart panda came up with the answer to their problem. No worries! I have the answer! I have learnt the Nyan does not like two things. The Nyan is scared of the color red. And he doesn't like loud noises. So, if we hang red lanterns and scrolls around the village and bang our drums, we can scare the Nyan away! <laughs> the following year, when the new moon came, the Nyan woke up. He went down to the village to eat all the villagers' food, as always. But this time, the villagers were ready for him. Ever since then, the villagers have been able to protect themselves from the Nyan. And that's why we celebrate this story with Chinese New Year. Oh no! Oh, good job! We've scared the Nyan! Yeah! <laughs> oh, I see. It was Hoopa and Olette in a Nyan costume. <laughs> awesome dancing, guys. Oh, did you bring your fireworks for the New Year celebrations, Hoopa? <laughs> Stick around for more Toto Time episodes and be sure to subscribe to our channel. <laughs>